Can you tell the difference between this potato oil and this potato oil? Well, stick around. I'm going to tell you how you can know the difference between a real one and a fake one. Hey guys, Karen with Curl House. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, a certified trichologist, and the owner of the Curl House product line and the Curl House Academy Let's Get Growing program. And today we are going to talk about botana oil and specifically, how do you know if you're about to get scammed when you purchase it? Well, first of all, what is botana oil? Botana oil is derived from the nuts of the American palm tree, which is primarily found in Honduras or other areas in Central America. It is fabulous for helping to, with the moisturization of hair, helping to repair dry hair and skin. It also encourages hair growth. I actually just recently did a video that was all about the benefits of botana oil. I'll make sure I pop it up above. But with this rise in popularity of people purchasing botana oil for its amazing benefits for the skin and for the hair, there are some cheap imitations out there. So let me ask you a question. Can you tell the difference between this botana oil and this botana oil? These are supposedly botana oils, but guess what? One of them is fake. Can you tell the difference? Well, I purchased the botana oil recently online, and guess what, y'all? I got bamboozled because it was not botana oil, and I don't want my experience to happen to you. So I'm going to give you five ways that you can tell whether or not botana oil is actually real or fake. Number one, read the label. Check the label, y'all. That is the first thing that you do when you get your botana oil. Read the label. It should only have one ingredient, and that is botana oil, or it should say raw or organic or unrefined botana oil. That is the only ingredient in botana oil. Now, when I got my botana oil in the mail, it said raw and organic botana oil on the front, but don't just look at the front. Look at the back, look at the entire label. On the back of this label, y'all, it's like 20 different ingredients. 20 different ingredients with water being number one, satirical alcohol being number two. And guess where botana oil is on the label? It is the second to the last ingredient. So if it is the second to the last ingredient of at least 20 ingredients, then that means the oil is probably like less than 1%. So to answer the earlier question from before, which one is fake? This one is fake because the label says that it's fake. This is not botana oil. It is full of all kinds of ingredients, most of them that I can't even pronounce. When you get authentic botana oil, that's the only thing that's going to be in the jar or in the bottle, just that one ingredient, botana oil. So make sure you check the label, y'all. Also on the label, you want to see whether or not it is sourced from a reputable source. Again, most botana oil is sourced out of Honduras, and that more than likely should be on the label as well. So if the label is misleading, there are some other things that you can do to determine if your botana oil is real. So the second way you can determine whether or not you got a real or fake is to do what I call a skin test. So that means you literally put some of the oil on your skin to see whether or not it absorbs or adsorbs. Absorb means it's going to absorb, penetrate your skin adsorb with a D means it's going to sit on top of the skin. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, this is botana oil number one. I'm going to take some of it and I'm going to put it on my skin. A little bit of oil. Okay, you see that? All right, now I'm going to show you what the fake one does. This one. Take some of it. All right. You see the difference? The real botana oil absorbs into the skin. The fake one adsorbs, means it just sits on top of the skin. So that's another way that you can determine whether or not your botana oil is real or fake. You wanna make sure that it absorbs into the skin, not sit on top of the skin. 
And the third way you can determine whether or not botanical oil is real or fake is by its composition. So botanical oil comes in a liquid form or in a solid form. The one that I have is the solid form. But botanical oil, when it is warm or in hot temperatures, it should liquefy. So you can do a simple home test. Take some of your botanical oil, put it on a plate, put it in a microwave, and see what it does. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of this botanical oil. I'm going to put a little bit on this plate. Then I'm going to take some of this botanical oil, which we already know isn't real, and put a little bit on the plate as well. Here we go. Now I'm going to head over to the kitchen, put it in a microwave, and see what it does in heat. All right, here we go. I have warmed up the two oils in the microwave. Can you tell which one is real? Clearly, this one is real because in heat and warm temperatures, it liquefied. And that is what your botanical oil should do. It should liquefy in warmer temperatures. And the fourth way you can determine whether or not your botanical oil is real is by its color and consistency. So botanical oil should be brown. It should be a rich, dark brown in color. I've had people from my YouTube community tell me they purchased botanical oil and it's been green. So if it's green or if it's anything other than brown or in the brown family, like a tan color, then that ain't real. But again, don't get bamboozled because this is brown too. But texture or consistency is important. The texture of real botanical oil is more like a butter, like a shea butter or cocoa butter, similar to this. This fake one kind of looks more like a cream. So if you've never seen botanical oil before, I can definitely understand why you would get a little confused in terms of texture and color, but consistency, remember, it's a butter, not a cream. That is the difference, so make sure you know the difference. And the fifth and last way that will help you to determine whether or not your botanical oil is real is to do the smell test. So that simply means give it a sniff. What does it smell like? Authentic botanical oil kind of has a distinct aroma. It smells kind of nutty. Many people say it smells like coffee. So yes, it does smell to me like coffee. A little uh, but you know our nose is subjective so what may smell like coffee to me can smell like something else to someone else and in this fake botanical oil it actually has coffee leaf extract to give it that coffee aroma so even when I smell this, I smell a little bit of the coffee too. So the smell test is an option. Like I said, our noses, you know, what we smell is kind of relative uh, to each person. So that may not be the best test, but I tell you, if you got all four, if you got the other four rather, if you check the label, if you do the skin test, if you put some in the microwave and if you check the color between those four, and add on the fifth one, the smell test, you should be able to determine whether or not your botanical oil is just that botanical oil. So if you're looking for where to purchase authentic botanical oil, I'm going to put a link below in the description so you can definitely check that out. And if you are looking for a fabulous product for your scalp that will hydrate your scalp, that will encourage hair growth, that will help with flakes, uh, and increase blood circulation to your scalp for growth, I encourage you to consider the Curl House Follicle Stimulating Growth Drops. This is my baby product, y'all. I've been having it for several, several years, and it certainly helps with scalp care. Also, I'm in the process of relaunching my entire Curl House product line. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to put a link above as well so that you can join my wait list because you all, it is coming soon. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, like the channel so that you do not miss a video in the future. And until we talk again, stay fabulous.